Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be making four different projects using these wooden reefs and I'm going to start off by spray painting them silver. After this spray paint dries a little bit, I'm going to go back in with my clear gloss spray paint to seal it. So now that everything is all dry, I'm taking one wreath and then taking another one and putting it right through the hole, making sure that the silver metal pieces line up and I'm basically kind of mimicking a pumpkin. It's not a perfect circle, but it's close enough. Next, I'm gluing this mirror to the center, which is also going to help stabilize it. As y'all can see, I glued two mirrors together and I glued the backs together so that way each side has a mirror on it. And now I'm just going to take my decor piece and glue it right on top. I'm going to use these wood blocks that I already had on hand, which I previously painted with my black acrylic paint. And these are going to help stabilize my candle holder. To hide the wooden blocks and also to glam it up a little bit more, I'm gluing ice rocks to the entire bottom. I'm going to glue as many ice rocks down as I can and for the remaining open spaces and gaps, I'm going to just place ice rocks there to fill them in. To hide this line where the mirrors meet, I'm using the circle mirror towels that I purchased from Amazon. I decided to glue some mirror tiles to the top mirror as well. I'm using my LED light that I wrapped in my silver metallic tape to finish off my project and then I will be right back to show y'all the finished look. I added more ice rocks and flowers to complete the look and I must say I didn't expect for it to turn out this good. But tell me what y'all think down in the comments. For this next project, I'm making a wall decor piece and I'm just placing two wreaths at the top and two at the bottom, making sure that the metal pieces are touching. I'll be using more circle mirrors and I'm definitely making sure that the mirrors are covering the metal pieces. I'm using more of these wood blocks to help stabilize my mirrors and my reefs. I'm using more ice rocks and I'm placing them around each mirror before gluing them down. Mm -hmm. 
Once I was done with this part, I then removed any excess glue strings, cleaned all my mirrors off, and then I had something that looked like this. I must say, I really like how this turned out. I think it's a unique piece, but let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm placing a mirror at the top and bottom of my wreath as a guide as to where I want to glue my small circle mirror towels. I'm using more of these small circle mirror towels to give my wall decor a distinctive look and I'm gluing them down about two to three inches apart. I was going for a different look but I decided to go on ahead and just glue these mirrors down and once I was done with this step I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned all my mirrors off and then I had something that looked like this. These were very quick, easy and super simple to make. I love how glam they turned out but tell me what y'all think down in the comments. I believe I purchased these from Michaels a while ago, which I already previously painted with my silver metallic spray paint. For the first step, all I'm doing is stacking these on top of one another. That was pretty quick, easy, and simple, and all I'm doing is taking project number three, gluing both mirrors together. So now that my mirrors are glued together, I'm using more of these ice rocks to hide the popsicle sticks. Y'all already know, once I was done with this step, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned all my mirrors off, and then this is how it turned out. I think by me adding the popsicle sticks to the center really made this project stand out. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.